Welcome, let's take a look at file and folder activity analysis using LangGuardian. My name is Dara Delaney from NetForge. So let's take a look at a couple of common use cases for the Windows File Share monitoring feature. Well, firstly, you do have a overall view of file share activity on your dashboards here. If, if you run the default set, you can see top actions, you can see most active users, any folders being deleted, top uh, files, uh, clients, etc. So that's already in place. Now, what if you want to find out, for example, who deleted a file, which is a really common use case. To do that, if you click the down arrow on the search here, in the file or folder name, put in the name of the file. So um, I want to find out who deleted. There was a budget file on one of the file shares. So put in, you don't have to put the full file name, file name in. Select the time range approximately when the file was deleted, then run your search. Okay, so locate the file here. You need any of these panels. Um, I'm actually going to extend this one here, get a full list of all the finance activity. And here's a delete here, so I can then drill down. Let's hide that one there for a second. So got my path. I can view the user, get the username. And we have all the detail here now. So I've got the username, I've got the actual file, I've got this IP address they were logged on to, and I've got the date and time when that file was deleted from the network. So the search here at the top is your best starting point if you want to find out who deleted a file or a folder off your network. So the next use case I want to take a look at, and this is also very popular, especially with things like ransomware and CryptoLocker out there, is to find out, you know, who, who's renaming files or is there any suspicion of ransomware type activity? Now to do that, instead of using the search, because we don't have any files to search on, we want to take a look at more behavior. We go for the reporting. So we select on the file share, search by file folder name, and this gives us some more options rather than just the file name. I've got action here. So I want to take a look at any renames happening on my network. Because renames are happen all the time, but a, an excessive number of renames is a sign of ransomware activity. I don't need to be uh, specific here with a file or folder name, just to look at all renames. So I have a lot of renames here and the suspicious looking file names and I've got the file server. So I can now drill down and actually get the client responsible here. Let's take a look. So here's the source IP. And again, like previous, I can get the username by clicking here. So I've got the client, the server, the files. In fact, they're being renamed and in one hour, 672. So very suspicious activity here. Definitely, I wanna take a look at this host and take it off the network, get it cleaned, maybe look at getting some files restored. So there are two very popular ways of using the Windows File Share uh, reports or File Share feature. 